Hey, good afternoon, everybody, and thanks for joining us. And like you've probably been hearing, you've probably seen it on our website. You've probably seen it on social media. It's a new day here at Athern, and it's really exciting. Um, it's not just a bunch of new logos. Um, it's, it's a lot of new stuff. And to help me show everybody what we're doing, what this big announcement is, I brought in some uh, very special guests. Um, I'm going to start off with our lead developer here at Athern, uh, John Stackpole. Hey, John, how's it going? Hi, I'm doing great. John, um, I doubt it, but for those who don't know, tell us a little bit about yourself, what you do here at Athern, and uh, all that good stuff. Sure. Uh, the role of the lead product developer means I get to develop all the new stuff. Uh, it also means I get to work on um, existing tooling projects when we want to upgrade those and add new features or uh, refine the tooling so they produce better models. And in short, John, make sure I don't have a paycheck at the end of the week because <laughs> lately there's been some great stuff. And I mean, this this month we've got some exciting stuff that we'll talk about later this afternoon. But uh, I've got another very special guest and some of you guys who've been joining us for Train Tuesday for years. Um, this man needs no introduction. Um, the one and only Janik Bringle. How's it going, Janik? Hey, Jim, I'm doing well. Thanks for asking. So I'm going to put this back up on the screen real quick. And I was just telling our audience, you know, today's a new day for us. This is a new era of Athern. And um, we've been, all of us have been hard at work. Even the guys that are not on the screen have been hard at work for the last few months working on this new era of Athern. And yeah, the first glance, we're going to see that there's some new logos. Things have been streamlined a little bit. But um, John, since you're the lead developer, um, kind of give us a quick overview of what that means for the actual product within the brand. Sure. Well, we know modelers evolve the more time they spend in the hobby. And uh, Athern's goal is to offer models appropriate to each state of, stage of the modeler's growth. So to that end, we're consolidating our products into three brands. And each brand represents three product line collections. Um, it comes at a time when Athern itself is evolving from uh, the products we're developing to um, customer service to marketing. And Athern is making improvements to meet modelers' ex, uh, current expectations. So uh, it seemed obvious that this is the great time to refresh the appearance of Athern's image, as this is the visual element of the evolution. Yeah, and I know we've got some great stuff here lined up for you here in the studio that uh, we're all going to talk about because. Um, like John said, this is just going to improve the brand. It's going to improve um, your experience as a modeler and as a customer. Um, we're really excited about this. And um, I guess we'll start off with the uh, roundhouse, right, John? Yeah. Let's go ahead and uh, let's talk about roundhouse real quick. And there we go. Yeah. So, John, tell us a little bit about roundhouse and where we're going to be going. Sure. Well, think back to how you were introduced to the hobby. Was it a train set around the Christmas tree? Did you have a parent or mentor expose you to the joy of modeling? Did you visit a museum or see an intricate model railroad empire? Um, the staff of Athern wants to make sure that the model railroad hobby still caters to those that are getting started. Uh, the strengths of the hobby depend on being accessible in an enjoyable pastime. So the Athern Roundhouse brand will offer that frustration-free starting place whether it's a train set given as a gift or an experienced modeler wanting to pass on enjoyment to younger kids. Um, Athern Roundhouse is where the model railroading journey can begin. The models are built for dependable operation and are attractively decorated. Um, the Athern Roundhouse are not cheap toys. They're going to continue to live up to Athern's reputation for quality models that will last generations. Details include smooth rolling trucks with metal wheel sets, uh, industry compatible knuckle couplers, more model, of, more sorry, more molded on details for increased durability and simpler construction, crisp and colorful decorated models using the same techniques as Athern's premium brands, and same high performance drives as the Athern brand in the locomotives with LEDs and DCC ready for your favorite plug in decoder. And Athern, is, uh, Athern Roundhouse is going to remain an HO scale offering for us for. Uh, being a little bit larger scale for novice hands. Yeah, this is great news because, you know, a lot of folks may have gotten their start with a train set years ago. And, um, you know, the great thing about Athern is 
you can get a nice quality um, starting point and it's hobby grade. It's not toy grade. Like you said, this is going to have um, some great detail to it. Metal wheel sets, that's huge. I mean, a lot of entry level freight cars come with plastic wheel sets. And um, yeah, you even said uh, with the with the drive line on the locomotives, um, it's going to be a nice hobby grade, um, upgradable, uh, you know, setup. And mm -hmm. that too, um, DC DCC ready too. I'm assuming, right, John? Yes, absolutely. Um, right now, the standard is the uh, 21 pin um, motherboard, which is what uh, all of our locomotives are coming with now. No, that's great. And, you know, Janik, I know that's going to keep you guys busy. There's a lot of different paint schemes that you're going to be drawing from, aren't you? Yeah, you know, with, with Roundhouse being, um, you know, more geared towards the entry-level modeler, it gives us a little bit of flexibility with paint schemes that we can offer. We can pick some of the more colorful schemes and have a little fun with it. Uh, choose the eye-catching paint schemes like billboard reefers and per diem boxcars, um, we're going to really try and make them look appealing. We want them to stand out on, on uh, someone's collection. Yeah, definitely. Definitely. This is really exciting. Um, yeah. And and I mean, this, we're doing this uh, to make sure that we have a, a value priced line. So uh, by these, uh, by these standards, we're able to really target uh, a model without getting outside of our scope. So, you're going to see some really good value here uh, coming out of these models. And I think people are going to be really pleased with that. Yeah, definitely. I mean, it's, it's definitely a game changer because now um, we can help out a wide um, range of modelers, you know, the ones that are just getting into the hobby and they want something that's a good quality and is, is somewhat ungradable too. So, I mean, great job on that. Um, now, I am seeing some of the comments off to my screen. I just want to let everybody know we're going to have a, a short section at the end of this video for um, questions. So save your questions for the end and uh, leave them for, for the three of us. We'll be more than happy to answer those. Um, we've got some other big news, too. Roundhouse is not the only brand that uh, um, got a nice refresh, but um, we did some other stuff, too, John. And, John, you, you did a lot of work on, on this next one. Uh, we're going to talk about just the Atherin brand itself. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the Atherin brand now represents both HO scale and N scale offerings. Um, they're well detailed models with numerous body variations to account for the different railroad prototypes. Uh, you'll find more separately applied details and high end details like lost wax castings, metal grab irons, and stainless steel etchings. Uh, models in the Atherin brand are perfect for every modeler and every model railroad. Uh, in our top secret development laboratory, we're even working on off-rail products that are sure to excite you. Uh, look for those to become part of the Athen brand in the future. And I think Janik would like to talk about some of the details that specifically that we'll be seeing in the Athen brand. Yeah, John, I can talk about that, uh, especially on locomotives too. Um, we're going to be focusing with the Athen brand on road name specific details. Um, as a lot of you guys know, when locomotives were built for specific railroads, uh, they were optioned you know, differently based on that railroad's needs. And we're gonna be capturing those differences with the Atherin brand, uh, fuel tank sizes, dynamic brakes, uh, beacons and ditch lights. Um, all the details, uh, the major spotting features uh, are gonna be captured in the Atherin line for you. All the hard work of detailing is gonna be done. Um, the other thing too I wanted to mention is that, you know since Atherin is now coming in sort of where RTR was, um, as John mentioned, it allows us to focus on some things that maybe don't don't roll per se, uh, structures or other line side accessories. Uh, the ready to roll moniker, um, when we first came out with it 20 odd years ago, um, it was kind of a game changer. We were mostly making kits at the time. Now that everything is ready to roll from us, uh, the Atherin brand will allow us to really diversify that line. Yeah, no, it's this is a great, um, you know, like John said, the all encompassing, um, the everybody modeler. And these are great, whether, and I know the guys probably get tired of me saying it, but these are great for your home layout or maybe you set up a modular layout. I mean, sh train shows are coming back again. Um, or just the club layout. And they've, they've got really nice, appropriate detail. Um, and it's going to be exciting to see what you guys 
um, come up in development in the next few months as far as uh, paint schemes and such. And like I said, um, in, the, in the past, some of you guys are asking, where's John? Where's Janik? Well, they've been busy. <laughs> they've, been, they've been busy working on, on this. And we've got some, you know, starting with this month, we've got some great offerings. So definitely uh, want to stay tuned to our social media uh, feeds for any updates. So the last one, and I'm getting some comments and some questions here on this too, is uh, Genesis. What's happened to Genesis? Uh, we, we still have Genesis, right? Yeah. Genesis has always represented a premium offering in HO scale for the most discerning modelers. Um, with Athern Genesis, we'll continue to pursue the best models we can offer, not just in HO, but also in N scale. Several of Athern's exquisitely detailed N scale models will be realigned into the Athern Genesis brand and our first newly tooled N-Scale offering will be announced later this year, um, probably early summer. It will have features never seen in N-Scale and set the bar for highly detailed N-Scale models. As Atherin Genesis represents the best model we can build, Atherin didn't want to continue numbering variations of the Genesis evolution. So we'll no longer market Genesis 2.0, but those features are not going away. We'll continue to push the details our tooling can produce and new models are guaranteed to be fully specced to the nth. The details matter in the Atherin Genesis line, which is why each model will be built to represent, represent a specific road number. Atherin Genesis models include underbody details like brake lines, drain lines, sander lines, and traction motor cables on locomotives. You'll also find detailed interiors, coupler cut levers, train line hoses, and prototypical trucks for the model. Numerously separately applied details with many variations to capture the look of the prototype. In HO scale, we'll offer animated roller bearing caps when applicable. End scalers, yeah, we could offer that, but do you really want us to? Also in HO scale, expect the new Athern Genesis projects to include all the LED lighting we can squeeze in. This includes headlights, ditch lights, beacons, number boards, ground lights, walkway lights, class lights, and more. End scalers will do our best to dazzle you with features that make a difference, such as sound decoders, underbody details, separately applied grab irons, stainless steel etchings, and more to be revealed soon. Yeah, and I mean, I'm, I think a lot of guys are going to be excited about having um, Genesis and end scale. I mean, it's uh, it's something that guys have been asking. You know, the fidelity in end scale in the last few years has definitely um, gotten different than where it was. And um, John, I know you're working on some projects even as we speak. Yes, yes. I, you know, as an HO scale modeler and an N scale modeler, and hearing the amount of requests for N scale models, we're not going to um, leave that group behind. We're going to continue to grow uh, N scale modelers, uh, N scale model offerings. Yeah, no, this yeah. is very exciting. Yeah, we've got a lot of you know, Genesis models that would make great Genesis end scale models. And there's a lot of models that would make great new Genesis end scale models too. And that's really been an area that we haven't been focusing on too much, but we will be going forward. As John said, he's already got that first new freight car in the works. Yeah, that's, that's great. So, you know, like I've been saying to you guys uh, watching this, um, you know, our developers are hard at work at making, not just the new paint schemes, but actual new products and all the scales that we that we carry. And um, we've got a, we've got some time for some comments. Now, one comment that I or one question I did see, and I'm going to address it to both John and Janik is, you know, with the rebranding, what kind of repackaging efforts are we going to be seeing in the future? One of our, our goals with the rebranding, and we are going to be changing the packaging a little bit, is to make it more evident which product line the uh, product exists in. So when you're looking at them on the shelf, there is a visual difference to them. Now the inside of the packaging, we're gonna, gonna make sure the model is pr uh, protected well and presents well. And we think we've been able to achieve that for quite a while now. So they're not gonna see as much uh, changes to the inside of the packaging. Uh, it's just gonna be a more attractive package that's easier to, to spot what you're looking for. And I yeah, kind of, go oh, ahead, Jim. Sorry. Easier to see at a glance um, sort of what, what line it's in. Right now, most of the boxes that we have are, 
you know, when you look at them across the room in a store, they kind of look similar. Uh, we're going to try and make it so you can tell uh, a lot easier. Is it a roundhouse? Is it an app? Is it an Atherin roundhouse? Is it a roundhouse? Is it an Atherin Genesis? Sure. Now here's a question we can all answer, and I think think John, you, John and Janik, we touched on this, but let's just. Uh, William's asking, uh, I wish you would put LED on everything, not just Genesis. Um, we pretty much are now, aren't we, John? Yep. E everything is LED equipped now. Um, I don't even think we've got incandescent bulbs in our factory anymore. Yeah. So everything's LED now. Now, I'm kind of going back to the rebranding, um, and John, you touched upon this a little bit. Janik, you did too. Um, but for somebody just joining us, what was the impetus for the rebranding? What, um, why did we want to do this as a brand? We, we wanted to further separate the brands from each other. What, what we've been hearing some feedback from dealers and customers that, especially with some of the higher end RTR items and some of the roundhouse items, there was some crossover um, between the brands and it was getting a little bit hard to tell like, was this an RTR? Was it a Genesis? Because it has all these details on it. Uh, with this new rebranding, one of the main goals is, okay, here's the Atherin Roundhouse features. Here's the Atherin features. Here's the Atherin Genesis features and have them be separated uh, in a way that's easier to understand. Mm -hmm. And as a product developer, it gives me a clear lane into which to develop products. So the Genesis products, we are going to make the premium product, put all the detail and make sure we're accurate down to the smallest warning label. In the roundhouse line, we want to make sure we have great looking, dependable rolling stock that will last generations. But if we have to add details that add cost to it, we're going to think really hard about that so that we can make sure that entry level modelers are not dissuaded from starting in the hobby because the price is too high. Yeah, really important. Um, let's see, I just saw a question pop up here. Um, this is from Stephen. And again, I think we might have touched upon it, but maybe we can expand on it a little bit. Stephen wants to know, um, will existing Genesis models be brought up to the former uh, 2.0 standards with the streamlined branding? That's always been the goal for Atherin is to make the Genesis the most premium product, uh, which we at one point called the 2.0 standard. Right now, we're actually moving past 2.0 and we didn't want to call it 3.0. And that will get really confusing. And when you look at the boxes of these products, the 2.0 and the Genesis products came in the same box. So once it was in your hands, you actually didn't know uh, what, what brand we had assigned it to. Um, we're going to be upgrading all of our tooling as, uh, as we can. Some of these um, models, the tooling is very extensive. We have dozens and dozens of body styles and we're going to look at them and we're going to, we're moving towards the 2.0 or 3.0 or what have you standard for all of our Genesis models. And we're going to continue to make improvements on every model that we offer in the Genesis line. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. And I think, I think the takeaway is that it's going to take time to update all those models. Mm -hmm. There are a lot of models, um, you know, a lot of models that were tooled 10, 20 years ago and and probably don't quite meet the standards of, of today. And they needed a lot of work to get them up there. So it's going to take some time. But like John said, that is the goal, is to bring everything up to the former Genesis 2.0, the current Genesis standards. Yeah, definitely. You know, another question I saw this morning on Facebook was, um, what kind of impacts is this going to have on pricing? Maybe we can talk about that real quick. Um, we're not going to see a, a, an increase in pricing just because of the rebranding, are we guys? Yeah, uh, the goal here is, is we shouldn't see any price changes because of a rebrand. Um, these are all going to be inline changes. So as packaging runs out at the factory, we're going to be switching into the new packaging. Um, it costs the same to print blue and yellow as it does red and green. So it um, isn't going to see a change there. Because we're clearly defining the brands, we're actually targeting to reduce costs on models. Um, we're trying to make the roundhouse line a lower cost entry price point. We're trying to make sure the Atherin line doesn't cost like a Genesis model when it doesn't have the detail. 
And every model we look, when we get the costing from um, the factory, how much is it gonna cost to build? We're trying to price those as low as we can. Um, so it's not, we're not setting an arbitrary price to build it. We are tr being very conscious of the price that consumers are paying uh, and trying very hard to meet customers' expectations for details, but also not inflate the price um, exponentially. Yeah, nice. The uh, other comment that I saw this morning uh, coming up is when does this time, what is the timeline, I guess you could say, for this branding? And we're pretty much starting with the April uh, news, aren't we guys? Mm -hmm. Right. This is uh, with starting with the announcement today, which we're going to talk about uh, in a separate video, right, Jim? That's right. Um, this is this is the kickoff um, of the new branding. And so going forward from here, um, we're going to be following these new brand guidelines. Um, it'll probably take some time before the new box art starts showing up on shelves, though, right, John? Yeah, um, because these products that we're announcing today aren't going to be uh, reaching our retail partners for about a year. Um, it's going to take that long for packaging to to trickle through because we still have packaging in our, our warehouse for our items we announced um, months ago because those have uh, are still being packaged up and shipped. So, right. but you'll see us in uh, magazine advertisements, trade show booths. When we get back to train shows here real soon, um, our outward corporate appearance will be changing today. Yep. Yeah, like John said, today's the the first day, the first new day of the new era of Athern. And you know, at the end of the day, this is this is to make things easier for you, our customers. And this is you know something that we haven't really talked about is um, in the last year we've done a lot more surveys, we've done a lot more um, actively listening to your feedback, and a lot of this is based on on what we heard from you guys. Um, isn't that true, John and Janet? Yeah, we've been doing a lot more surveys, as some of you may have noticed, Facebook surveys mm -hmm. about road names and, and versions that people want to see. We've also been talking to our, our dealers, uh, getting their feedback uh, to make sure that any changes that we make are, are in the best interest of, of you know the widest group of people. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we wouldn't be doing this if it wasn't wouldn't be wasn't necessary. Uh, we are, are listening to the feedback. And that's part of the, the process of Athern evolving as a brand is to make sure that we're meeting our customers' needs. And if you have a need that you're not telling us, then we're probably not going to meet that. So make sure you're sending um, suggestions of product, um, your product suggestions to our product suggestion email box. Make sure you're using the correct uh, email when you need help uh, for service. And uh, we are we have great systems in place. Uh, when people contact us through those channels. Uh, Athern's been around for 75 years, and there's a lot of literature with old email addresses, old physical addresses, old phone numbers that are no longer valid. So mm -hmm. hit, our, hit up our website, find out where you should be sending your contact, and you're going to find out that we're quite responsive, and we'll get back to you very quickly. Yeah, that's a good point. And one of the things, too, I wanted to talk about, too, um, when you mentioned the web website, um, now, our website is being updated as we speak. We've got uh, a crew working on it, and um, you'll see some things changing throughout the next few days. Um, it takes a little bit to get all that information data, and if you think about it, Atherin's got, a, after 75 years of coming out with um, so many announcements and so many different uh, locomotives and rolling stock throughout the years, you can imagine it's quite a task to get all those um, where they need to go. So. Um, we're going to be updating that as the uh, weeks go by. And something else you touched upon, John, too, is uh, we're going back to train shows. Um, we're going to be doing our first train show in over almost two years now. We're going to be at the Rocky Mountain Train Show in Denver, Colorado uh, next weekend, I believe. So um, that's where we'll get to have some more input and talk to you guys in person. And uh, as John said, we're very responsive to what you have to say. And I'm kind of happy, and I think I, I think John and Janik would share this to see that um, the road names that we come out with every month are based a lot on your customer feedback. And we do appreciate that. I do have a question for you guys. Um, this is coming in from Nicholas and he's talking about, I'm sorry, the 
n-scale Genesis models. He says, on the Genesis models, are there going to be operating ditch lights and possibly other lights, such as rotating yard li uh, lights on yard engines, et cetera? Looks like uh, lighting features. Yeah, that, that is an excellent question, and that is the goal. Um, N-scale is miniaturized, and I can squeeze in every single light feature that's available in HO scale, but the locomotive will be featherweight. So we want to make sure we have a good balance of performance so that it can pull a car or 10 or 20, but also have features. So that's why I say we're going we're gonna to make sure we're going to uh, focus on the features that count. And when I can get a beacon into a locomotive, absolutely. When I can get ditch lights, absolutely. Sound, yes. Yeah. Now it's it's an exciting time, and I, I I'm I'm sure John has got some great stuff work that he's working on Janik too. Um, like I said, sometimes these guys lock their doors to keep me out because it's like a big toy store in there. Um, a lot of fun. So we've talked about the different levels of Roundhouse. We've talked about Athern, and we've talked about Genesis. Genesis. But one thing that I notice as we talk about those is we're saying Athern Genesis, Athern Roundhouse. Um, maybe you guys can kind of expound on that just a little bit, what, what our focus here is. Sure. Well, you walk into any uh, hobby shop and say the word Athern, and they're going to recognize the brand, and they'll probably have the product sitting on the shelf. And that's been the strongest component of the the brand as a total is Athern, Irv Athern's legacy. And we want to make sure that customers realize that Athern is just is more than just the Athern name. We have entry level models, we have premium models, and it gives you a map of where you can grow. So if you enter with the Athern Roundhouse brand, you'll know that we have the Athern line, which is a very large line with a lot of different models uh, in it. And if you're looking for that, uh, premium model, if you're a discerning rivet counter modeler that wants every detail perfect, or you want that uh, you know, museum-esque piece that you can put on your wall and stare at, um, the Genesis, the Athern Genesis line uh, is the where you're going to find those details on it. But it also gives you the opportunity to grow. You know, If you want to start practicing weathering models or putting uh, drilling and adding on separate details, we're just going to start with the Athern Roundhouse brand. Those are features that you'll find in the Athern line. If you want to uh, work on uh, making sure all the cab doors and um, hood latches are the same or correct, maybe you start with an Athern model and you do the work to make it to what we would offer as an Athern Genesis model. So there's still modeling uh, possibilities within our lines. To yeah, definitely. Meet every every uh, level of modeler out there. Yeah, and, and to to talk a little bit more about that, you know, maybe maybe you're typically an Athern Genesis customer, but you uh, maybe don't have your your finances are a little tight during a certain month. Uh, you had to fix your car or something. You you can still go out and buy an Athern branded item, uh, and 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 you shouldn't be ashamed to do so because they're all going to be up to an Athern standard, um, whether you go with the Athern or the Athern Roundhouse. Um, especially in the case of the Athern, um, you won't be ashamed to put those cars in your train. You know, they're going to look great. They're going to be great cars to include in your train, even with other Athern Genesis equipment. Definitely. I got a comment here from uh, Tate I want to display. Tate says, I agree. Athern has stepped up listening communications with customers, and that's a good thing. Thank you for noticing, Tate. And yeah, that's true. I mean, I've said it before many times on Train Tuesday. If you have a suggestion to go to our Athern product suggestion email. And, you know, these guys see those emails. They see those. And um, John, you know, just quickly, I mean, how many how many of those do you think you get a day? It definitely varies. Whenever we make a new product announcement, uh, I'll see a dozen or so emails. Um, and then through the weeks, we'll get one or two a day. Um, I'm always pleased when people send emails in because they get added to the list. And sometimes, I'm like, hey, that's a great product suggestion. We've actually been working on that for a long time, and you're going to see it real soon. Yeah. Other times, I'm like, oh, that's great. Do you have resources? Do you have photos? Do you have drawings? I would love to offer that, but it's kind of a, a hard-to-research uh, model. So. Definitely. 
Well, I want to thank everybody that's uh, joined us this afternoon. Uh, this is an exciting time. We're, the three of us, as well as a lot of guys you don't see in the background, are really excited about this new era of Athern. Um, you know, something to be said is it's one thing to rebrand and come up with new logos, but it's another thing that when we actually streamline the brand and we're thinking of you guys, um, these are based on your comments, your questions, your queries. We've gone ahead and as John and Janeth have explained, um, the products are gonna be streamlined and they're gonna be easier to find, easier to use for your layout. Um, you know, we've been doing this for 75 years and we didn't get here by standing still. We're always gonna keep going forward and producing the best models that we can. So with that, I want to um, thank you for joining us today and have a great weekend. Tune in later this afternoon at 3.30 for our new announcements for April. Um, until then, welcome to the new era of Athern. Take care, everyone. Thanks, guys.